Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So my name is Muhammad Mujahid bin Harun and my metric number is 1180753 and I will present on my portfolio management. <coughs> so the five stocks that I invested in which is the Alternate Berhad which is under the Industrial of Chemicals, my EG Services Berhad which is under the IT Services, YBS International Berhad under the Industry of Machinery, Miles Corporation Berhad under the Industry House of Durables and Genetic Technology Berhad which is under the Semiconductors Industry. And each stock I distributed to a 30% capital for each stock. Next is the portfolio return. The historical data for each stock is from investing.com and contains the price of each day from the whole year of 2021. And next is the return data. The return data is the percentage gain or loss from the previous day's closing price. Next is the expected return of each stock. For Atronic, 0.243%, MyE, 0.071%, YBS, 0.741%, Milex, 0.329%, and Genetech, 1.437%. For standard deviation, the Atronic is 5.806%, MyE, 2.342%, YBS, 6.246%, Milex, 4.905%, and Genetech, 5.797%. And for variance, Atronic is 0.337%, MyE, 0.055%. YBS 0.39%, Milex 0.241%, and Genetex 0.336%. Okay, next is the sheet risk. Uh, the sheet risk uh, contains the risk free rate, the beta, risk premium, and capital asset pricing model. And to get the capital asset pricing model, the formula is risk free rate plus beta, and beta uh, multiplied by the risk premium. Okay, the risk free rate is 3.59%, and the risk premium is 5.6. Okay, so the CIPM for Atronic is 34.198. For my EG 15.014, YBS 7.622, Milex negative 0.218, and Genetech 3.254. Okay. Next is the efficient frontier. The efficient frontier is the set of optimal portfolios that offer the highest expected return for a specific level of risk. And each return is dependent on the investment combinations that make up the portfolio. Okay. Next is the variance covariance metric. It shows the patterns of variability as well as cooperation across the columns uh, of the data matrix. Okay. So using the solver, uh, solver in Excel, uh, we will get different results and portfolio frontiers as it depends on the rate of return. Okay. For my portfolio, the highest rate of return is 24.2%, uh, which is equivalent to a 5.79% standard deviation, which is right about here. And my lowest expected return is negative 0.22%, which is right about here. And the standard deviation is equivalent to risk. So the lower the, lower the standard deviation, the lower the risk. And my, the, my, standard, my lowest standard deviation of my portfolio is 1.92%. Uh, right about here. Uh, it is equivalent to a 12% return. Uh, it means that the combination of portfolio distributions make that a return of 12% is achievable with the lowest risk. Uh, so for the expected return of 12%, the combination of portfolios for is the Atronic 7.42%, MyEG 64.94%, YBS 4.9%, MyLex 18.96% and Adventa 3.78%. Okay, next is the Sharp, Jensen, and Trainer. Uh, this sheet shows us the calculation of each of these three ratios. Uh, however, the calculation for portfolio variance and standard deviation differs from before because this is calculated without uh, using the percentage, meaning the return data is converted to the general number. So for Sharp ratio, the uh, formula is expected return minus risk free rate uh, divided by portfolio standard deviation. And my portfolio Sharp ratio is 1.221. For Jensen Alpha Ratio, the formula is portfolio return minus risk free rate plus beta, and beta is multiplied by the risk premium. My portfolio's Jensen Alpha Ratio is 12.768, and last is the trend ratio. My formula is expected portfolio return minus risk free rate divided by the portfolio beta, so my portfolio's trend ratio is 5.6. Okay, next is my stock investment performance. So I invested for one whole year of the 2021, which is between uh, when 1st January until 31st December. And I have achieved a return of 198,685.5 cents, uh, which is equivalent to a gain of 499.5%. Okay. Next is the historical data for each stock. First is the Atronic. So as you can see, there's my stock trend. Uh, the starting year's uh, price is lower than the end of the year's price. And next is the MyEG. MyEG is also the same. YBS, uh, as you can see, is on, uh, on upward trend. Uh, Milex uh, also on an upward trend. 
And lastly, is Genetech, which is also an upward trend. Okay, so that is all from me. Uh, thank you.